In this video, I'm going to show you how I built my first app for YouTubers from idea to launch. A few years ago, I started working with a famous YouTuber and since then I became friends with a few creators. And talking to them made me realize how painful it can be to find good talent to work with when managing a channel. And since one of my first jobs a few years ago was being a video editor, I also know that it's hard to find legit people and get a job in the YouTube space. This is what gave me the idea of creating a job board centered around the world of YouTube. So I got started with building the MVP. Since I have a demanding job and cannot spend dozens of hours coding every week, I needed to build an MVP quickly. So I looked for templates and open source projects that I could get inspiration from so I could build an MVP fast. And after a few days of searching, I had found it. Joe Massilotti, a respected guy in the Ruby on Rails community, created a developer job board called Rails Devs. And it's open source. Love you, Joe. You're the best. This project was almost perfect for what I wanted to build, but it just lacked the ability to add job posts since it only focuses on candidates. But it was okay for me to start with this. So I got started and cloned it. I got familiar with the code base, set everything up, edited the copy, changed a bit of logic, improved the SEO, and made a video trailer. I basically made it look and feel like a YouTube job board. Also, since I live in the country of the croissant, I added a French translation to my app and translated Joe's Rails devs as well to thank him for open sources his project. And after around three weeks of work during weekends and evenings, I was finally ready to officially publish it. But something or someone stopped my progress for months. It was this guy. The same exact day I finished what I thought would be my MVP, Paddy Galloway, a YouTuber with hundreds of thousands of subscribers, which is a tiny bit more than me, officially launched his own YouTube job board that instantly became huge. And it was also used by the biggest YouTubers. And Paddy and his team had done a great job. After seeing how successful their own project was, I looked back at my little prototype and in one day, all the motivation in me was gone. I thought that my app sucked, that it was useless, that I'm useless. So. I give up. But little by little, thanks to discussions with friends, I realized that it was not that bad. I just needed to get users on it. Many industries have multiple successful job boards and business owners often post their job offers on multiple sites. So it's not a zero sum game and I didn't need to worry so much. I just had to get users, improve my app and differentiate it from competitors. So I started reaching out to people who might be interested in signing up to the app as candidates like writers, video editors and thumbnail editors, which went okay. Some people signed up some people were not interested because they already had their thing going on and others simply did not trust my platform as I had less than 10 people with an account on it. It was very slow but I managed to get my first few signups this way by doing things that don't scale. But I had a bigger problem. When I sat down to build new features I realized that I hadn't coded in months and I had forgotten quite a few things since building my first app but this one wasn't really a real app. It was more me duct taping a few tutorials together. And this is when I saw that a friend, Ryan, a startup founder who sold his previous company and makes courses on how to code, released an online course called 24 Hour MVP, which is supposed to teach how to build SaaS prototypes quickly. So I got started and even if I had some coding skills, the course is really what got me out of tutorial hell and gave me dozens of aha moments. I gave myself one month on nights and weekends to spend time on the course and during these 30 days I managed to build a little Twitter bot that allows you to give anonymous feedback to brands and a mini social media for startup founders where they can share their company's progress. I didn't have the time to finish the third SaaS prototype from the course within my one month deadline but it was fine. I knew enough to improve my YouTube job board. So I started by adding the ability to add multiple YouTube channels, a job post creation system, and dozens of small tweaks for UI UX and SEO. I also added some improvements to the chat experience and made my app simpler than competitor job boards. Improving the app is what took me the most time, but after around 40 hours of work over a few weeks, my app MVP was finally ready. So I launched on Product Hunt and it was, let's say, underwhelming to not say it was shit, but I don't really care. After doing multiple incremental improvements, I'm proud of what I built and that's the main win for this first real app. Also, the SEO finally started picking up a few weeks ago and I'm seeing a nice increase in signups on the platform. I also started a blog and have a few marketing ideas to grow it. So this project could start making some pocket money in a few months, but for now I'll keep the product mostly free so it's competitive and it continues growing. Okay, this was a different kind of video than the case studies I posted previously and I hope you enjoyed it. I liked documenting this project and I think that I'll do it again with other software products I build in the future. See you in the next one.
Hi, I'm Alex and I'm currently building websites to solve problems that matter to me and yt.career solves one of them. Helping creators and creative professionals find the right fit to work with. In the past, I've been on both sides of the content creation coin. I've looked for a job with a YouTuber and managed to get a job with one of the biggest YouTubers in France in the business and marketing niche. And after working with him and meeting other content creators, I saw how a lot of YouTubers are struggling to find good talent for their business. This is why I've built yt.careers to make it easier for creators and talented writers, video editors, and thumbnail artists to work together by creating a platform where it's easy to find the right fit to work with.